Spain wins the 2024 European Championship after defeating England 2-1 in a dramatic final to claim the European Championship title for the fourth time in its history. Spain won the European Championship title for the fourth time in its history, after defeating England 2-1 after a drama-filled second half in the 2024 European Championship final, on Sunday in Berlin. Nico Williams, one of Spain's standout players at the tournament, gave La Roja the lead minutes into the second half when he cleverly finished the ball into the bottom corner of the goal after a neat pass from the team's other rising star, 17-year-old La Mal. England equalized in the middle of the second half through a wonderful left-footed shot from Cole Palmer from outside the penalty area, restoring the tie at the Olympic Stadium in the German capital. But with less than five minutes remaining in normal time, Spain took a late goal when Mikel Oyarzabal converted a perfect pass from Mark Cucurella into the net to crown the victory and a wonderful tournament for the Spanish national team. This is Spain's fourth European Championship title, having previously won it in 1964, 2008 and 2012, while for England, it was very sad after losing their second European Championship in a row to Italy on penalties at Euro 2020. The match started with the energy befitting a grand final, with each team overcoming their pre-match nerves. As many expected, Spain had possession of the ball in the first 30 minutes, but it did not result in any real goal-scoring opportunities. While Spain controlled the ball as it sought to create an opening, it was England that shot the first shot on goal at the end of the first half through Phil Foden from close range, but it went directly towards Anais Simon, the Spanish goalkeeper. Spain suffered a painful blow in the first half when one of its most important players, Manchester City midfielder Rodri, was forced to leave due to injury, and was replaced by Real Sociedad player Martin Zobimendi. But the Spanish players did not seem bothered by the loss of their star midfielder when Williams scored the winner two minutes into the second half to give Spain a deserved lead. At the age of 22 years and two days, Williams became the second youngest player to score in a European Championship final. The goal seemed to raise the pace of play in Spain, as Danny Almo almost increased his team's lead after one minute, but his shot went past the post. England were under intense pressure following Williams' goal, as John Stones succeeded in clearing captain Alvaro Morata's ball, before the athletic Bilbao player fired the ball wide of the goal as he searched for his second goal in the match. While the England national team was looking for a way back into the match, coach Gareth Southgate made a bold decision to remove the team's captain and all-time top scorer Harry Kane and replace him with Ollie Watkins, who scored the winning goal in the last moments in the semi-final against the Netherlands to book the team's place in the final. This switch seemed to motivate the English, as the team played with more energy and speed. Jude Bellingham fired a shot past the post bringing the English fans to their feet for the first time in a while. But just as England were building momentum, Spain almost got a second goal through Yamal, who became the youngest player ever to play in a European Championship or World Cup final when he took the field on Sunday night, but Jordan Pickford brought out a powerful hand to deny Barcelona miracle of scoring. In the end, England scored their goal, and the goal came from one of Southgate's substitutes. Chelsea midfielder Palmer, who had come on as a substitute for 19-year-old Kobe Mano just minutes earlier, took advantage of a brilliant pass from Bellingham and curled a perfect shot into the bottom corner to level the score. Spain returned to the atmosphere of the match and came close to regaining the lead 10 minutes before the end of the match after leaving Yamal Pickford in a solo confrontation, but the England goalkeeper blocked the 17-year-old player shot. As extra time approached its end, Spain finally succeeded in scoring its deserved goal in the final moments through another smooth attack that ended with Cucurella passing a wonderful cross to Oyarzabal, who put it into the net, sparking massive celebrations. England became famous for a heroic performance in the dying moments of Euro 2024, and the team needed another moment of magic if they were to have any hope of getting back into the game. After 90 minutes, Declan Rice headed a corner kick towards the goal but Simon blocked it to Gay, whose shot was cleared off the goal line by Leipzig's Danny Almo, while the Spanish defense celebrated thwarting another English attack. England did everything they could to extend the match into extra time, but after four extra minutes, referee Francois Letexier blew the final whistle and the Spanish players fell to the ground before joining the sea of red and yellow fans inside the stadium to celebrate. 
Before lifting the cup, Rodri was chosen as the best player in the Euro 2024 tournament, while Yamal was chosen as the best young player in the tournament. Yamal, who turned 17 the day before the final, played in each of Spain's seven matches in Germany, providing four assists, the highest number in the tournament, and scoring one goal, a stunning and record-breaking goal in the semi-final against France. Which made him the youngest scorer in the history of the European Championship. For England, their quest for a major men's international title has been going on for 58 years after winning the World Cup in 1966. King Charles III subsequently issued a message of support to the England players on X, formerly known as Twitter. While victory may be out of reach for you this evening, my wife and I join all of my family in urging you and your support team to hold your heads high. Anyone who has been involved in sporting activities at any level knows how desperate it can feel to see such a result and it's close to winning and he will join me in sending our deepest condolences, even as we congratulate Spain. But please know that your success in reaching the European Championship final is a great achievement in itself, which brings with it the pride of a nation that will continue to roar for the three lions today and in the many victories that I have no doubt lie ahead.